Hello, uh, welcome back. We are busy with a worksheet that can be downloaded from www.eclassroom.co.za and this is the second lesson. We are working on this, this worksheet. We are done with question one and two and now we're going to take a look at question three that is about a telephone bill. Okay, so let's read through the question. It says, Mrs. Appleton received the following account for a telephone bill. Answer the questions that follow. All right, so let's quickly look at that bill, this bill account. Um, this is a telecom invoice. This is for Mrs. Appleton from Kessel Street, Fairland, Johannesburg. Um, Let's look at the whole I think previous invoice, ballot bo balance brought forward, of opening balance, amount overdue, this invoice, let's carry on. Right, so a couple of things, etc. Right, so the first question is, how much did Mrs. Appleton owe Telcom before she received her monthly statement in June 2012. Okay, so now let's go up again. Right, this balance brought forward is the amount that she she owed them before she started using the telephone again for the for the next month. So it was 2,372 rand 79 cents. Okay, so that's the first answer. If you look at the memo um, question three, you'll see two, three, seven, two, and seventy-nine cents. Okay, now let's look at the second one. B. Calculate the amount that Mrs. Appleton, Ap Applon, Appleton. Where do I come from, Appleton? Mrs. Applon owes for June two thousand and twelve. Calculate the amount that Mrs. Ap Applon owes for June two thousand and twelve. Okay, so that was this was the balance brought brought forward. Um, this is the amount due was two hundred and fourteen rand forty four cents. So um, if you add these two amounts together, it adds up to two thousand five hundred and eighty seven rand, rand and twenty cents. That's that amount. So please show your calculations, even though you see it on the on the account. So it's, um, the amount was two one four and forty four cents. You didn't have to show the calculation; it was just it's just over there. Um, okay, I suppose you can show that it's the, these three amounts added together, um, but this amount of 2,587 rand and 20 cents um, you can read it from here or uh, you they might say show how did how to how they calculated that and that was the amount that you owed this one here plus the amount that you had to pay for the month and that is then 2,587 rand and 20 cents Okay, so you might have to show how, how, how it was calculated. That can also be a, a good question. Show how the amount was calculated. Um, D, Mrs. Applon forgets to pay her account and she is charged 6,5% interest on her, the her amount now payable. What is the amount she must pay to clear all the debt? Okay, so you have to take the 2,587 rand and 20 cents, times it 6,5%, and then that answer you will add to 2587 and 20 cents. So that would be the total amount plus the interest. Okay, so here they calculate uh, the interest, which is the total amount plus 6,5%, which is 168 rand 17 cents, add to the amount owed. So it means to be able to pay all of all her debt, she still has to pay 2,755 rand and 37 cents. And usually a bill is, is charged with quite a high interest rate because service providers um, is not, uh, f they don't 
lend money they don't they're not in the position of borrowing money to other people so that's why they charge a very high interest rate okay question e calculate approximately how many months in arrears the account is in if miss aplon spends approximately 214 rand a month and incurs 6.5 percent interest in her account each month okay so what you have to do <laughs> apologies you first work out what the interest amount is you you first subtract 214 rand then you work out the interest amount and subtract it so let's quickly look at that calculation because it's quite a hefty calculation uh, it's a great question right so first of all you're going to work out what oh they work forward this is much easier so 214 rand plus 6.5 percent which is 227 rand and 91 cents remember you first have to m multiply 214 rand with 6.5 percent and then add it to 214 or you can say 214 times 106.5 percent okay so now you add 214 rand again to the two 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 seven and ninety one cents and then you multiply it by six percent which gives you that amount to the four hundred and seventy rand in the third month you add two hundred and fourteen again which gives you that then you add two hundred and fourteen again and add six percent then you add another two hundred and fourteen and six percent another two hundred and fourteen and six percent six and a half percent another 214 six and a half percent another 214 six and a half percent and then in the ninth month you'll see ninth month you'll see that she must be at least more or less 200 uh, to be able to get an account of 2673 rand because this is still much less than what she owes you see um that is the amount that she owes. So to be 2,673 rand 80 cents in arrears, oh yeah, in debt, she must be nine months in arrears. That's quite a lot. Okay, wonderful calculation. Um, I would think that in an exam, maybe this is quite a long uh, calculation, but they, they might, uh, it, you might have to work up to, let's say, the third month because you're continuously doing the same thing over and over again. Okay, and then... Question F, what is Mrs. Apple Aplon's telephone number? What does Calcom refer to this number as? Okay, so let's go to her number. Okay, there's also a number. 047714-04. 0418 can be the number, account number, service reference number, the service reference. I th I would suppose that that 047-714-0418 is a telephone number. And the reason why I think it's that one and not the previous one is because it starts with a zero, which is what telephone number starts with. Okay, so let's go to the memo. Um, the telephone number is 047714-0418 and this is called the service reference number. Okay, so that was question number um, F. Right, Paula has a bank account with Beep Bank below as a tariff sketch schedule for 2012 as well as a transaction statement for her account for July 2012. Use this information to answer the questions that follow. Right, so this is the transaction, the fee free I suppose, transaction and the fee, the monthly fees. Monthly administration fee is 6 Rand. The internet banking fee is free, cell phone banking is free, deposits, cash at B Bank's ATM is 2 Rand, cash at B Bank's ATM is, um, the check at B Bank as the ATM is 3 Rand, cash withdrawals at B Bank, so in the branch is 4 Rand, B Bank's ATM, the first two transactions is free, thereafter is a Rand per transaction. 
And if you withdraw money from another bank's ATM, it's five rand. And at the till point, so for instance, if you go to a store, for uh, ShopRite or Pep Stores or Checkers or Pick and Pay or Spar, you you don't pay anything. Account payments and purchase, electronic transfers between accounts is free. Electronic account payments is 50 cents. Debit card purchase, your first 10 transactions is 10 and thereafter it's 1 rand 15. Debit order is 3 rand. Balance inquiry at ba the ATM for your bank it's free but for another ATM it's 3 rand. SMS notification, sorry, is 85 cents. A statement in a branch is 3 rand 50 and change recurring payments in a, in a branch is 2 rand 50. Okay, so those are the, the transaction fees. Calculate how much Paula was charged for a SMS notification uh, SMS notifications in July. Right. So this was funds use SMS notification. There were 14 SMS not notifications. Um, and they charge at 85 cents each. Okay, so 40 notifications times 85 cents is 11 rand 19 cents. Um, what was the total amount of cash that Paula withdrew from her account in July 2012? Cash withdrawals at B Bank ATM is 1,140 rand. Cash withdrawals at another bank's ATM is 250 rand. Cash withdrawals at the cashier is 320. So if you add them together, those three amounts, it's 1,710 rand. Right, question 4C. Calculate the total cost of the bank fees Paula was charged for ATM and cashier withdrawals in July 2012. So let's quickly go look at cash withdrawals again. At the bank, it's 4 Rand. At B Bank's ATM, 2 is free, and the after it's 1 Rand each, and another bank's ATM is 5 Rand. So what did Paula do? Um, Okay, so it's cash withdrawals. There's one withdrawal at another bank's ATM and three withdrawals at B Bank's ATM. Okay, so fees withdrawal at B Bank plus fees from another ATM plus fees withdrawal at the cashier is equal to the bank fees for withdrawals at ATM and cashier. So there's one transaction that was charged at one rand. One transaction was charged at 5 Rand and then fees withdrawal at a normal cash is not Rand, so the total fees was 6 Rand. Um, okay, so the first two were free, so that's why it's free. Um, okay, yeah. That's that's where the Nordrand comes from comes from. Then um, calculate how many debit card purchases were made by Paula in July if the bank charges three Rand forty five for debit card purchase. Let's quickly see. Mm. Let's quickly look at the memo. Plus the four end. Oh my word! Sorry. 
sorry, I was completely taken aback by the calculation and the memo. Um, the, uh, there were 24 trans, uh, uh, funds used uh, transactions. This is a funds This is a credit, and that amount is a credit. And this is SMF no notification. So if you go 24 minus 1 plus 3 is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, you get 13 transactions because these all have to add up to 26 because there were two funds going in. So that's where the 13 comes from. I unfortunately do not really know what this means. Um, but but we'll get there. All right. Uh, question E. Calculate the total bank charges on Paula's account for July 2012. Okay. So it is a three rand thirty four times thirteen plus the SMS notification plus the cash withdrawals that we just calculated. Yeah. So let's go up to A. Right. So it's six rand plus six rand plus eleven rand ninety, which is there, plus three rand. This is the one six rand plus three rand plus three rand thirty four plus three times four. This three rand thirty four has to be multiplied by thirteen. I think I read that incorrectly. It says calculate how many. If the, if the, uh, three rand thirty four debit card purchases. Who? Oh, I'm sorry. The first ten is three, and thereafter it's one rand fifteen each. Okay, so that's that. This is the previous question. Sorry, let's quickly go back. The first ten were three, and that's the ten, and then it's three thirty four divided by one rand fifteen, and that's where the three comes from. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, so it's six plus six plus eleven ninety, which was the SMS notifications plus three rand plus three rand thirty four, which was the debit card purchases plus three times four. Sorry, let's quickly go. The three times four was these debit orders, four debit orders, okay? And that equals to uh, 42 rand 35. All right, um, question F. The bank calculates interest on a credit balance at 0.75% per month. How much interest would Paula have earned after bank fees for July have been deducted from her account? Okay, so Paula uh, got the debits or credits for 8,504.63. Then this is the amount of money that she spent, 6,418.12, which uh, uh, um, equals 2,086.51. Okay, let's quickly go back to the thing. This was the money in and that was the money out. Another bit of money out was 42 rand 35. So in a bank account there's 2044 rand 16 cents at the end of the month. If you count, w work out what 0.75% on that is, is 15 rand 33 cents. So this is the uh, interest that she received for money but that she had in the account for the, that month. Um, question G, go back to question G. What is Paula's opening balance in August 2012? So it was the amount of money that she had in the account plus the interest earned. So that's 2,059 rand 49 cents. And then in the end, B Bank um, offers Paula an account which has a fixed bank fee of 150 rand per month. Should she take this account instead? Why and why not? Okay, now Paula paid 42 rand and some cents in, 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 in bank charges for the month, which is much less than 150 rand. And also, Paula doesn't earn a lot of money, and especially if you don't have a fixed income, um, 150 rand is a lot of money to pay if you don't have a fixed income. Right, so I think it's better for Paula to just stick with her bank account. If she has less money coming in, she can't spend that amount of money, and therefore she won't have to pay that um, much on bank fees either. 
Right, I think we're going to stop here because I think this is more than enough for one day and then we'll finish up tomorrow. Please remember to do question 5, 6 and 7 for tomorrow and good luck with it. Bye-bye.